What's going on everyone? My name is Patrick and in this video I'm going to show you my workflow and how I handle S-Log2 video footage in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get right to it. Okay, so not wasting any time. This can be done with DaVinci Resolve 12, 13, 14, 15, or anything in between, below, whatever. So long as these settings are there for you to select. So I'm using DaVinci Resolve 15, the public beta, which you can download off the website right now if you want to go and follow this directly step by step. Okay, so the first thing I've done is I've imported some video clips in here. We can take a look and we can see that these are pretty flat. This is S-Log2, this is S-Log2. S-Log2, all of these. Very flat picture profiles, not a lot of saturation, and not a lot of contrast. There's a couple things we're going to do. So the first thing is go up to File and select Project Settings. From here, we're going to modify the color management. So navigate to the color management tab, and we're going to take a look at the color science. We're going to switch from DaVinci YRGB, and we're going to switch it to Aces CC. We're then going to change the ACES output device transform to Rec 709 or Rec 2020. These are the color spaces that the colors will follow. For this, I'm going to use Rec 709. And then hit save. And you'll see the actual images have changed quite a bit. So now you'll see the images look extremely blown out. So we're going to make one more change real quick. Let's highlight all of the clips, right click. We're going to select clip attributes. And then in the data levels area, we're going to switch it from auto to full. And then OK. And this is going to increase the overall data that's being used for each of the images. It's not going to allow DaVinci Resolve to modify anything automatically. So next thing we're going to do is, again, highlight all of these. Right click in this ACES input transform. So these are all of the different, I guess you could call them LUTs, but they're slightly different from a LUT. It's more taking the color science of the camera of that picture profile and assigning it to that clip. So these are all shot in S-Log2, so I'm going to select S-Log2. And right off the bat, you'll see the colors are a whole lot better than what they were before. But we're not done just yet. So let's go ahead and add a couple of clips into the timeline real quick. Okay, so I have two clips added in here right now that we need to now edit and do some additional color correction on. So let's start out with the first one right here. Let's go into the color, and we're gonna go ahead and add one node. So right click, add node, add serial node, and now we're gonna perform the color correction on this. And there's really only one modification we need to do, and that's just changing the offset. So looking at the scopes over here, you can see it's slightly blown out on the top end. So let's just bring this down a little bit and see what it looks like. And just doing that one modification, this picture, in my eyes, looks extremely good. It looks extremely accurate. So let's do it to this second clip. Same thing. Add a serial node. And just bring down the offset. Take a look around. And that looks awesome. And with this being S-Log2, you're going to get the dynamic range between the darks and the lights. So now we can actually go back and modify the colors even more. So you want to bring out some of the color in the sky, the highlights. Let's just bring those up. You can get some more color, some more detail out of the clouds. So let's bring in another clip. Now you can see in this clip, it has a lot of darks with the shirts and everything else, but it also has a lot of detail up in the sky, a lot of the clouds. Now it looks blown out, but let's see what we can get out of that. Let's go back to color, add a serial node, bring down the offset. Look at that. Now let's go ahead and just bring the highlights up. And look at how much detail is being brought out. So if we look at this last clip over here, we can see the darks. I could still bring those down quite a bit. So let's just do the whole offset just a little bit more. So there you go. And you can see, look at the clouds compared to the dark areas. And that is my workflow with handling S-Log2, S-Log3 video footage from my Sony a6300. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you don't, I really don't know why the hell you're still watching. 
but whatever. If you want to see more content like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Later. So I'm letting you know where I want to be Driving by the shore Listening to a broken radio Skyline neon lights I wake it up